Flame on! Flame on! Come on, why isn't this working? Why can't I intentionally ignite myself like the Human Torch? Well, duh, because it's a comic book superpower, I can hear the comments now, but what about unintentionally? Do people ever spontaneously burst into flames? Let's start by admitting it. You know that if you could have any of the Fantastic Four superpowers, it would be the human torches. I mean, being able to fly and shoot flames out of your hands? Uh, sign me up. But I don't see any human gaining the ability to flame on from another dimension anytime soon. So what about looking at the mysterious cases of self-ignition that we already know of? Spontaneous human combustion. Do people really burst into flame? Or does this whole theory kind of go up in smoke? Spontaneous human combustion cases are usually mysterious deaths where a person is found burned to ash and bone with no damage to the surrounding area and no obvious source of ignition. Often just limbs like feet and legs are left, like the body just up and exploded. The first documented case was described by Danish anatomist Thomas Bartholin in 1663. He described a Paris woman who apparently just went up in a blaze of ash and smoke. This is in poor taste. I'm sorry. In the dozens of cases of spontaneous human combustion since that first described case, there is a unifying theme. There doesn't seem to be any obvious source of ignition, and the bodies don't burn right. If the bodies are really self-igniting, shouldn't it burn the whole house down? The apparent explanation for what is really going on here is just as weird as the cases themselves. Man, I'm on fire. Some people think that spontaneous human combustion is caused by a buildup of methane in our intestines that somehow blows up? It's kind of like how I reckon dragons might breathe fire. Still others think that it's due to static electricity somehow building up inside the body or it's a weird subatomic particle yet undiscovered at work. The oddness of these theories probably has something to do with the oddness of the cases themselves. But if we look a little closer, the most likely explanation is something that we are all already familiar with, a candle. Spontaneous human combustion is more like controlled human being, candle, fire, you get the idea, but it's a hot theory. There is little to no evidence for any of the theories purporting to explain spontaneous human combustion save for one, the wick effect. It's what happens when a human turns into a candle. First, a person, probably unconscious, has their clothes unintentionally ignited by some source, maybe a cigarette or a fireplace. Then over the next few hours, the heat from these clothes starts melting the fat in the person's body, which is drawn up into the wick to fuel the fire. Then finally, when all of the fuel is used up from this fat, all that is left is ash, bone, and maybe some parts of the body that weren't affected by the wick effect. See, the wick effect explains the mystery in a lot of these cases, why there are limbs left over. Well, if the clothes aren't covering part of the body, they're not gonna be a part of the wick. See, look at my arm. It's totally not a candle right now. And even the unexplained cases of spontaneous human combustion often involve heavy drinkers, heavy smokers, the elderly, the infirm, a fireplace, all the things that the wick effect would need to get started. It turns out that human bodies don't burn like human torches, at least not in the way that we'd expect. We're more like human candles. So when someone would say, flame on, it should probably be smolder on until I'm a pile of ash and bones. Why? Because science. Man, these are ending on a really uh, rough note lately. Want more science? Check out my last video on how big Attack on Titans Titans can get. Subscribe to Nerdist for more videos if you want because science two days earlier than anyone else, head to Vessel at Vessel.com slash Nerdist. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, hit me up in the comment section below. Thanks.